to another edition of All Right Reviews. As ever, my name is Colin Smith, and today, kindly supplied from the wonderful people over at John Hornby Skews, we have the Hughes and Kettner Tube Meister 36 watt combo. Now, this is a three channel amplifier, it is powered by three 12 AX7s and four EL84s. We have a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker. It also has a switchable effects loop and reverb. Uh, it also can be switched between 36, 18, 15 and 1 watt. Uh, what else? We also have MIDI presets on here. So we can have up to 128 MIDI presets. What I'll do is I'll turn the amp round and we'll take a closer look. Right, so this is the back panel of the amp. We'll just run you through it. We have the speaker input. Now these four buttons here will allow you to switch between 18, five, one watt, or we have silent recording, which is the red box DI out, really good feature. We also have automatic tube biasing. So if anything's wrong with the tubes, it will indicate here on the lights. Again, this is the reverb. You can control the level on or off. We have an effects loop on and off. We have a switcher that we can use to turn on the effects loop. And we also have a foot switch for the channels. Now, another interesting feature on the Tube Meister is the MIDI. Now, using a simple MIDI switcher, you can program up to 128 presets. So for instance, we could have one preset in the clean channel in 18 watt mode with the reverb on and the effects loop off. We could save that as a preset and then we could have preset two in 15 watt mode with the reverb off and the effects loop on. So you can see the capabilities this amp has already. Really nice feature. Sadly, we don't have the MIDI pedal wish we did but one wasn't available right also you have the red box di now if i was playing live i would di this straight into the pa it would sound good you could also match it up with a microphone if you wish to do so have it pan left and right whatever you want to do we might be able to take a quick look at that i'll do a little recording of the di just so you can hear a comparison we'll have the mic dead center so it can we can do a really nice a b right so let's flip it round and have a look at the front panel right so let's take a look at the front panel we have the clean channel we have the crunch and we have the lead now the clean channel has gain master volume bass mid treble the crunch channel has gain and a master volume and it shares the EQ of the lead channel and the lead channel has gain a master volume bass middle and treble but like I said the crunch and lead channel share that EQ section and then moving on to the end we have the standby and on and off so let's fire it up and have a listen now I've just got a double latching foot pedal which will allow me to switch between the clean and crunch channel and also the crunch and the lead channel right so let's check out the clean tone so we've got a little bit of gain on there nice uh, if you've got an overdrive pedal you can throw that in this is what that sounds like So this is the crunch channel. We can also throw an overdrive on that. Nice. And now we'll just have a quick look at the lead channel. We 
we can also throw an overdrive onto that and you get some crazy sustain. what mode knock it down to 15 So now let's try the DI function. This is the clean. So now I've plugged the mic in and we'll do that again. So there we have it folks, that was a quick look at the Tube Meister 36 watt combo. Thanks for watching, don't forget, please subscribe.